hello and welcome back in this video we are going to go over problem y grade 2 from at coder tp contest so let's go with the problem statement you are given a grid with h horizontal rows and w vertical columns and i j denotes the square at the i row from the top and j column from the left and in this grid uh, we are given n squares as input which are wall squares and all other squares are empty squares and it is guaranteed that the top left and bottom right cells are empty squares and taro will start from the square 1 1 and wants to reach the square h comma w by repeating the moves uh, by moving from current cell to the right or down of an current cell which is the adjacent adjacent right or adjacent down empty empty square and we need to count the number of paths from uh, 1 comma 1 to h comma w modulo some value let's also go over the constraints uh, h comma w is to 10 is to 5 so then this grid cannot be constructed naively because number of cells will be up to 10 is to 10 which is not feasible but uh, the number of blocked cells or wall squares is limited by about 3000 the block scale block the coordinates of the blocked squares are given all of them are distinct and the starting and the ending squares are empty it is given such that so in this example these two are blocked and the number of ways from 1 1 to 3 4 will be the three that are described here and so on so the obvious solution is not feasible to construct the grid um, initialize the wall squares and then perform the traditional dynamic programming approach so let's now go over some of the observations which can help us to solve this problem so as you can see we are given a grid i am considering zero based indexing for explanation uh, the red ones are the blocked cells and we need to count number of paths from 0, 0 to 4 comma 4 one of them is highlighted using red uh, my mistake uh, one of them is highlighted using green color in this diagram so before moving to the solution let me let us go over one uh, interesting observation for counting number of ways from some coordinate to the other in a grid so number of ways to go from 0 0 to 4 comma 4 uh, using the moves down and right can be described as a sequence of length 8 because each move because we need to move to the right four times and we need to move down four times hence we can describe that a particular way using a string of length 8 and this will be the difference of the x coordinates plus the difference of y coordinates which is the total movement that we need to perform in upwards or vertical and horizontal directions so these are the constraints for those uh, for the to consider the way in the uh, string analogy so the string length must be 8 and each character is either d or r and count of d must be 4 and count of r must be 4 this is because we need to move exactly 4 times down so that we can reach the coordinate uh, final coordinate so let's uh, to count the number of such strings is same as counting the number of ways to reach from 0 0 to 4 comma 4 and the number of uh, such strings will be given by 8 choose 4 because if you choose at what positions D can occur there are 4 choices for the position D and the total uh, total available options is 8 which is 8 positions in the string and we need to choose 4 positions for D you can similarly choose uh, the same value or r as well it will give the same result because of the property that ncr is same as nc n minus r and this observation is helpful for that uh, so in general if we want to formulate what will be 
the total number of ways to reach from x1 y1 to x2 y2 this will be given by the formula which is the distance between x coordinates plus distance between y coordinates this will be the string length as we saw earlier and uh, we can take any one term of this one so x2 minus x1 can also be the number of ways to choose because it is uh, essentially the same computation so this formula will give us the number of ways to reach from x1 y1 to x2 y2 and let's see how this is going to help us to solve this problem so uh, since we don't this formula was helpful in the case where we don't have any obstacles but let's see how uh, introducing obstacles in the grid is going to change the number of ways at a particular destination so let's say we start at the uh, cell 1 comma 1 and end at uh, the cell n comma m and there is an obstacle at 3 comma 3 so to uh, reach from 1 comma 1 to n comma n we need to remove all the paths that were all possible paths from 1 comma 1 to n n comma m and remove all the paths which go through this obstacle which is present at 3 comma 3 and the ways to reach at the ending position will be reduced by this amount and this is essentially the number of ways to reach to the opt obstacle then the number of ways to reach from obstacle to the destination hence we uh, hence we can and this is multiplication of the ways from uh, starting to obstacle then obstacle to end because each way can correspond uniquely each combination of the ways from the first journey and second journey can corresponding to a different way hence um, we need to reduce the total ways that were possible at this position by the ways which go through this obstacle and that will be given by the number of ways to go from 1 comma 1 to 3 comma 3 multiplied by all the paths which are possible from the obstacle to the destination cell and this is the formula for this is how the number of ways change when an obstacle is introduced so let's see how we are going to how this observation is going to help us solve this problem so essentially what we need to do is for each cell uh, we initialize the number of ways from the formula that we saw here by the amount considering that there is no obstacle and one after other we are going to introduce the obstacles and introducing an obstacle is going to reduce the number of ways by the amount that we saw in this example so essentially for each cell the total number of valid ways to reach there should be decreased by the ways going through the obstacle uh, which are possible in the path from 1 comma 1 to that particular cell so if we were calculating the number of ways to reach at this cell then the obstacle would not have been considered because uh, a way from 1 comma 1 to this coordinate which is 5 comma 2 can never go through this obstacle hence this uh, will form an upper sub matrix in this grid and we only need to reduce the number of ways by the obstacle present in that sub matrix so essentially uh, if we start at 1 comma 1 and let's say there are three obstacles and uh, to uh, count the number of ways to reach n comma m we need to reduce the total ways by the amount which go through uh, all of these obstacles one by one so uh, notice that we essentially were considering to compute the number of ways for all the empty cells but that is not required 
essentially if we are going to compute the number of ways for all the empty cells we are still going to end up with a time complexity of n multiplied by m or the total number of elements in the grid which is not feasible uh, we can only uh, compute the number of ways for all the obstacles to considering the number of ways to start at 1 comma 1 and reach at a particular obstacle and there are only about 10 rest to 3 obstacles 3000 obstacles and uh, we can treat the ending position n comma m as a virtual block cell and using that we can say that we we are also computing the answer from the destination cell so uh, for this cell which is at coordinate 4 comma 3 uh, we reduce its count by the obstacles which is present at 3 comma 1 and 1 comma 2 because this will never contribute any path which goes through this can never go through this one because the permissible movement is only right and down so if we if a certain part path goes through this obstacle it can never go through this obstacle so we only need to reduce the count of ways uh, in the upper rectangle formed in this green portion that is described so this way we can find the answer for all the blocked cells and the number of black block cell is at most 3000 according to constraints so uh, essentially for each block cell we there can be about order k block cells in this rectangular portion hence the time complexity for computing the number of ways for all block cell will be order k square where k is the number of uh, input blocked cells and this essentially is going to help us to reduce the time complexity in of the grid height plus width plus the k square which is the number of obstacles given h and the number of obstacles which is n so let's go with the implementation now so we take the input n m k we as we saw in this diagram we are introducing a virtual block cell as the at the ending position so that it can be counted in the answer and the answer can be de directly derived from the ways for that cell final answer hence we are going to initialize the tp uh, sequence of size k plus one first k will be for the input block cells and the last one will be for the destination cell so we are going to take the coordinates of the block cells initialize the coordinate of the last cell as the destination which is n comma m we are essentially going to sort them because uh, this needs to be solved from left to right in increasing order of rows this is uh, as I mentioned here the order to count ways must be from left to right in increasing row number because let's say uh, the ways until this is computed then after that this will be computed and after that this will be computed uh, because once this is computed this is going to denote the egg denote exactly the number of ways to reach here and not uh, it is going to avoid multi multiple counting of ways so let's initialize the value for all the cells the number of ways by this function this function is essentially taking the x1 y1 and x2 y2 coordinates which we saw in this part so this uh, it is going to evaluate this expression you can pre-compute factorials this is combinations so you can pre-compute factorials and uh, essentially this turns out to be 
the difference between x coordinate difference between y coordinate the factorial of that divided by factorial of x and y so this is essentially computing it in order logarithmic time based on this division and multiplication using model modular arithmetic so once this is computing this this now this denotes the number of ways without any obstacles now uh, to reduce the ways which go through the obstacles we need to go over all the cells that we are considering and um, since this is computing the number of ways for all the cells and this inner for loop is for iterating over all the cells which are present in the upper uh, right grid which we saw here so essentially we need to reduce the number of ways for this cell by this this and we need to iterate over all the red cells using the inner for loop essentially we are checking whether it lies above and to the left of the current cell and if it lies we need to reduce the number of ways to reach at that cell by the total base which were possible between them so to come so for this cell the number of ways will now be reduced by ways to come here multiplied by the ways to go from this to this essentially it will be the formula will be applied this uh, the dp value for this will already be computed so we just need to multiply the number of ways to come here multiplied by the number of paths that are possible between these two coordinates so this will be essentially computed using this function that we saw earlier which takes which takes the arguments as x1 y1 and x2 y2 which are the coordinates of the blocks that we are uh, pairing up with and uh, essentially the answer is the last answer which is the cell that we we have added which is the destination cell yeah so that was it about this the total time complexity will be order h plus w plus n square n square is for the for two for loops two nested for loops and h plus w essentially for computing the factorials uh, for which can be up to a value of order h plus w yep so that is it about this video if you have any doubts do let me know in the comments and yeah thank you